Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo 23. We're back again today with more parts from airsoftpeak.com. They're being installed in my ANK SR25. We're trying to create a really cool DMR platform here. The gun was all stock when we started, and this is the final upgrade video, so if you missed the first two, go check them out. Today we're installing the SHS Full Metal Hop Up Chamber and the Military Action 550mm 603 barrel. So let's get right down to the tech table and get to work. Now like the SHS chamber we will be installing today, the A and K chamber is all metal. It's decent quality, but I found their quality can be hit or miss at times, especially with their buckings. Their accuracy can be a little poor. The A and K HAPA bucking is a little bit different. It actually uses a very thick seal around the BB, very different from other brands. Now unlike the SHS unit, the A and K unit actually does use a larger spring that fits around the barrel so it can push the hop-up unit against the gearbox, giving you a better air seal. Now let's take a closer look at the military action barrel here. Looking at the hop-up window port here, the front is a slanted, and the window itself is a little bit shorter than most. If you intend to use a standard TM style hop-up in this barrel, you should be fine. If you want to use a flat hop or an R hop or anything similar to that, you may have to modify the window here. Something else I did like about this barrel is that it has the two cuts here for standard AEGs and the TM style hop up chamber. So you can use this in just about any gun you want, assuming it's an AEG. The crowning at the end of the barrel here is actually nicely done as well. It protrudes about two and a half millimeters into the barrel. Now we can take a closer look at the SHS hop up chamber here. The hop-up chamber itself is a full metal design. It looks like pretty good quality and it's well machined. Pink dials here is kind of an interesting touch. Didn't really expect that and I think it'll look kind of cool when you pop that hop-up chamber open. It does include this little spring here and this will go on the front of the hop-up. It is used in most M4 style barrels but with the A and K SR25 we will be using this spring instead. It slides over the inner barrel between the hop-up chamber and the outer barrel. Now it's kind of an unusual design and ANK is one of the few companies that currently uses it. Now the SHS hop-up chamber will not include this little brass ring. It actually goes right in here just inside of the chamber around the inner barrel. So you will have to transfer that from your old hop-up unit. Now looking at the bucking, the rubber right there is just a little bit off on the top. Uh, we'll have to see if that affects accuracy or air seal or anything, but I may have to use a different bucking because this does not look like it's been perfectly uh, cast. Aside from that, the bucking feels fairly thin. It is somewhat soft, and it looks all right aside from that small defect in the rubber. Now, the hop-up chamber nub was actually outside of the chamber, so you will have to take the chamber apart and install that yourself, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Go ahead and take your screwdriver and start to take the dials off. Now you'll need a flathead screwdriver for this one. Just be careful, you don't want to break the uh, metal pin this sits on. Going to take the clip off there. This last one, I usually hit this on the table once to get it off. Simply slide this out, and you probably will need to use needle nose pliers to flatten the uh, little clips out again so they fit properly and tightly on there. Now this uh, arm works very well actually. It did not have a little clip here, so I actually installed one from my spare parts collection because this pin likes to fall out pretty easily, and you don't want to lose this if you don't have spares. Now go ahead and slide your bucking onto your barrel. Make sure the ridge on the bottom of the bucking lines up with the groove in the bottom of the barrel here. Slide your bucking and barrel into your chamber. Make sure the opening is facing the top so the arm can push the nub down into it. And go ahead and take your little clip, which I have over here, and clip it on. Make sure it's all snug in there. You can also take your brass ring and slide it in here at this time. It should stay pretty snugly in there. Now take your nub and some needle nose pliers and be very careful not to lose it. And place it in there just in the middle of that hop-up window opening. Go ahead and push your arm down over it so it doesn't move at all. Now while it's still in there, go ahead and take that first dial and put it back in. Make sure it lines up properly with the hole in there. Now go ahead and take some needle nose pliers and put that first clip on there so this all stays very tight. Next, the second dial goes on the pin there. Take your second clip 
needle those pliers again and push it down over it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And lastly, your adjustment dial itself, the screw, and get it with your screwdriver until it's tight down there. Now get that screw pretty tight so it'll only adjust when you actually adjust it and not when you're shooting. And make sure your hop-up nub is centered in there and you can see the little defect in there still so we'll have to see if that affects uh, accuracy and consistency at all. Now finally because this is the A and K SR25 we do need to put this spring back on the barrel. Finally slide your hop-up and barrel into the receiver like so and it should spring back like this if you have your spring in there. Alright, with the new 550mm barrel, the gun is shooting an average of 380 feet per second with .3s. That's fantastic. That's right around the 460-470 mark, which I was hoping for with .2s. I was actually very surprised at the accuracy and consistency as of getting out of this hop-up chamber and barrel. The barrel is actually very nice. If you're going to do an R-hop or a flat hop, you might want to look in the direction of a different barrel. The window on this one is a little different and it probably is best to stick with the standard Marui style hop-up for this barrel unless you're planning to modify it. The hop-up chamber was very easy to install, came with almost everything you needed except that little brass ring, and the dials stay very firmly in place when you're shooting. All in all, these are good products. They are definitely worth the money. I was getting very good consistency and accuracy out of them, and the FPS coming out of this gun is fantastic. Thanks airsoftpeak.com for letting me check out all these parts. Go to airsoftpeak.com. You can find all these parts. Links are in the description for each video. And if you decide to pick some parts up, you can use the coupon code YASTKILO23 and save $5 on your order. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Prouder Chief from Kilo23 again. Big thanks to airsoftpeak.com for letting me check out all these cool upgraded parts. Take it easy guys.